Good afternoon. How are you today? Well, it's very pleasant out as we approach fall. <laughs> no, not many leaves down yet, but some are. Um, but it's, uh, it's a very pleasant day, so we're in that in-between period. You think about what kind of a world we're in where people are actually talking about uh, what the tragic consequences would be of Russia's Putin coming after us with nuclear weapons or suggesting he used them in the battlefields of Ukraine or maybe even in Russia where Ukraine has made some inroads. That's a pretty dangerous sign. And that doesn't fit in the happiness category at all. And uh, the overage of testosterone among these guys, it's like they lose reason and go into this place. You know, it's like a, it's like a game with them, except playing chicken with nuclear weapons is not a game where anyone can win. Ultimately, there's a crash and burn involving, well, probably millions of people, depending upon what kind of weapons they use, tactical or, or strategic, and where they drop it and so forth like that. So we don't have any control over it because these goofy guys are going to do whatever they do. Uh, this evening at, I think they said, 7.14 p.m., there will be a NASA spacecraft crashing into an asteroid seven million miles away to see if this approach mentioned originally in science fiction tales will divert the asteroid. Now we are not at a risk because of this uh, asteroid, or so we're told. This is a test, so we can hope for that. Other uh, interesting news, and, and bad news I think, is that Italy has a far-right government now, and I'm, I'm saying far-right like the wackos we have right here at home. And this does seem to be a, tre a trend in some nation states across the world. And I wouldn't have guessed it, but the prime minister who's going to come out of this is going to be the first woman who ever led the government. And that's uh, counterintuitive to me, but I suppose it shouldn't be, but it, but it is. Uh, I don't know what this means for Europe because Italy is not in one of the prime spots, but it could be challenging the EU and probably will. And that's interesting because Italy has been one of the debtor nations <laughs> owing in recent years, its existence to the EU and its help from them. Uh, back here in Virginia, we have a Virginia governor who is a, another throwback relative, hater, white supremacist. But his current project is to attack transgender children. And he wants to do that by outing them in the schools. And he's chosen Loudoun County, where I live, in part because he, he did so well here during the, I'm working my way through some bushes, he did so well working his way through Loudoun County on this issue, among others, you know, whether or not children should be vaccinated to protect them or, you know, attend classes remotely. He believed that they were being taught uh, to, rate, to be racist, to hate whites, to, you know, just this kind of crazy stuff. But we had uh, children at risk who were bullied because people knew that they were transgender or they were gay or whatever. And these guys, again, this is the problem. The introduction of religious values that you can abide by if that's your course but don't force everybody else to do it in civil law. And that's what they're doing. And there's also an attack on the local prosecutor who handled a couple of difficult cases, as far as I can tell at a distance, very well. Yet they have a judge on the bench, a former Commonwealth attorney, a Republican, very conservative, trying to take her off cases. <laughs> so Democrats don't move to remove judges but judges move to remove prosecutors. What's wrong with that picture? Of course, it's Virginia, so we, we have a special way of handling these things. Uh, there's an editorial in the Washington Post today that I find distressing, in which the Washington Post is endorsing the notion that Manchin should be able to pass in the budget appropriation bill 
uh, a means to ease the ability to lay pipelines. Having fought a pipeline that was going to run from West Virginia through Virginia, through Maryland, and all the way up to New Jersey, and the reason they did this by pipelines is so they could take the fossil fuels <laughs> that were prohibited to be mined or obtained up in New Jersey and places like that to get it from West Virginia. And so everybody in between, uh, you know, the, the pipeline that I fought, they weren't going to get a, a molecule of these fossil fuels. So uh, how would I sum it up? Well, it's not as bad as some days, but a situation normal, well, you fill in the rest, the rest of it. And uh, I'm out here in a field today uh, just because I thought I could, uh, I could start and walk around and see what was going on. So it's very pleasant, and uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon. And uh, here I am on the edge of a field, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.